I should look at this process. Uh, remember that the color coding represents whether it's value added, the green, non value added, the red, or required non value added, the blue. And this means that if you want to generate a report, say for to create a uh, value stream map, you can click here and go to the value stream map here. Let's say I like to keep it in the same area, I have it the other documents here. So I go to my Timer Pro, I pick up my processes, my here, and I'm going to call it my value stream. So it's going to be my value stream uh, dash uh, L6201 dash 1200. Okay, and then I click on the open and then click the OK. I'm just going to start putting together a value stream map. So what we have here is a template that again you can customize to your own particular needs. Now what you're seeing at the bottom there where you see the uh, green, blue and the red writing, that's individual process steps being placed into the value stream map along with the links to the videos for each of the different uh, activities being performed here. Now you have to wait until the process is finished so my little uh, might be an hourglass in your end, but my little circle here is going to end when it's finished completing it. And that's it. And now we can see here we've got the uh, the total process time, how much was um, non-value added, required non-value added, the net value added time. Uh, down here, you have uh, this area here you can customize for anything you want right here. If you've got some inventory between the stations, uh, you can put it right in here, update these numbers here and change that to your own particular needs here. And down at the bottom, as we said, we've got all of the individual items color-coded, value added, non-value added required here. So for instance, if you wanted to look at this, apply the final decal here, right? I can double click on the video and I'll show you the video right here. Again, you need, don't need anything special. Give them Excel and access to the video here. We also give you an icon library where you can add your own icons to this to completely customize the output. You can draw your own pictures up at the top here, representing what's going on in your process.